Tonight we look at the final episode of Slobbies. Well, mom's real son Cool as Fire returns. And where does that leave Slobbies? Well, a bittersweet surprise awaits him. Sounds like you had quite an adventure. It was an adventure, but why did you send us there? Slobbies, now you have being a Navy person behind your name too. It's experience. I've always tried to make an impressive success of you, and this was part of it. At least your one son I saw become a success. I wish. Now who on earth? It's fire! Hiya, Mom. Miss me? Mom, do you know why I came back? Well, it can only mean that you made a success of your life? Yes, I own my own business now, and there's someone I'd like you to meet. Your secretary? No, Mom. This is Icy Stone, my fiance. Pleased to meet you, Icy. Oh, cool as fire! <laughs> hey old mom, what's going on out here? Cool as fire. There's somebody I want you to meet too. This is Slobbies. <laughs> yes, we know him. You do? Well, see, I knew when I left that you'd miss having someone to raise. So I went out and found a poor little girl selling her puppies on the street. You mean it was you who gave Slobbies to me? That was sweet. But you, I was so worried. Why didn't you let me at least know you were still alive? I did. Recognize this? Don't tell me you didn't know what they meant. Oh yes, of course. The cards. Yeah, I knew all along. But hey, come on in. We were just celebrating Slobis' return from a Navy-like life. What is this? A freaking zoo? I can see Slobis clearly wasn't enough. Oh, you cool as fire. I'd have given them all up to have had you back. Hey! But I love you all. Hmm. Can I offer you something? Tea, coffee, cake, slice of chicken? We'll have the coffee, thank you. Wow, I can't believe you're here. So tell me how you two came about. Well, me and Icy were two young ones with no money but plenty of spirit. So we teamed up and together we made it! First as puppy salesmen, then with my computer knowledge we started making doggy computers, then finally we struck it rich with computers. Our company's called Watermelon. Oh cool! You really made it! All these years I was so afraid you might have left feeling I thought you were a disappointment. It's okay. But tell me about Slobbies. After I got Slobbies from Icy and delivered him to your doorstep... Wait a minute. You got me from Icy? Yes, Slobbies. That's the way it happened. Then it means... Icy knew my mother? Icy knows your mother. Your mother belongs to Icy's parents. But they moved about a thousand kilometers away. Actually, we're going to see them when we leave here tomorrow. But last I talked to them, they said your mother won't last much longer. Oh no! No, don't worry. It's not because of anything wrong. She's just very old by now. I have to see her. Slobbies, you're leaving? I have to spend her last days with her, no matter how long it will take. Well, I suppose we could take you with us. But Slobbies, you can't just leave my mother. You belong to her. You two went through so much together. Do you really want to leave her and go live with your real mother who you don't even know? Hmm. <laughs> oh, old mom. I don't want to leave you. But I have to know who my real mother is. But once I met her, I probably would never want to leave her. 
and I know you love me too, but you could come visit regularly. Oh, how will this ever work? Oh, Mom, you're going to so much trouble for us here. You're gonna make me and Icy feel uncomfortable making you work like a slave. Nonsense! I've been wanting to cook a proper meal for you for years now. You're not robbing me of this. If there's one thing you shall remember from home, it's your mom's delicious cooking. I always have. <laughs> wow, this is unusual. I actually woke up by my own waking. What happened? <laughs> Old mom? Huh? Old mom, why didn't you come wake me this morning? I'm sorry, I was just so busy catering for our special guests, that's all. I had to get them breakfast ready. Oh, I guess... I guess I just missed your bombastic way of always destroying my sweet rest all of a sudden. Oh, that's so old. It's more of a form of abuse, don't you think? But don't look so neglected. Come sit down and you can have breakfast with us. So, Mom, what are you going to do when Slobis leaves with us? Aren't you going to be lonely? Well, I'll have that fish and my chicken to keep me company. And we'll come visit you every chance we have. Of course we will. If it's all right with you, Mom. It's always all right with me. You pop in any time now, you hear? That's an order. And you let me know when the wedding is and tell me if I can help out with anything. We hey, will. Well. So, Slobby, you must be pretty excited about meeting your real mom. Yeah. But it's a long trip. How long is it again, Kula's fire? Oh, quite a few hours. If we drive all day, we will only be there very late tonight. That's quite some drive. How do you do it? Drive all the way, I mean. Well, I drive most of the way while Icy sleeps. Then when I get tired, she takes over. We're a team. <laughs> yeah, a team. Hmm? Well, I suppose it's time to be going. <laughs> Goodbye, Mom. I won't stay away that long again. I'll visit. Anytime you want. You don't even have to call. But I'll call anyways, just so the cooking's ready when I arrive. Goodbye, I see. Take good care of my son now, you hear? He's a treasure. But before you go, there's something I just have to see. Yep. Just to stare at when the days get too long. Well, this is it then. Go now, before I start to cry again. You'll be back, I know it. There's no need for a tear shower again. Come, Slobbies. Goodbye, Slobbies. I hope you are happy with your new mom, who was your mom all along. Don't worry, I understand. Now move it before they leave without you. Don't you back, Slobbies. It's better to just let go.
And what am I going to call you?